Hello, my servants. I am your Lord. I am your emperor. I am your king. I am your Caesar. And I return to you here in Rome after fighting my battles to conquer the world. And you, my loyal subjects, have been preparing the way of your Lord. That's right. You have been celebrating Advent as you prepare for me to return to you. You wait for my arrival during this Advent season. And it has been a very good season for us here in Rome. You see, I have been spreading the good news. I have been spreading the gospel according to Rome. As I go out and conquer new lands, I bring my proclamation, my scroll, to these new lands, and I say to the people there, good news, congratulations, you have been conquered by the Roman Empire. You are now part of Rome. This, for them, is good news, because everybody wants to be Roman. We dominate the world. But you see, there are some who resist. And I tell them that resistance is futile because we have the most excruciating, painful torture equipment the world has ever seen. The cross. I have planted so many crosses. At one time, I went to a town in Judea and we planted 2,000 crosses. On that day, those Jews, they like to resist. And I like to put them up on crosses to show them that their resistance will not happen in the Roman Empire. Because you see, we Caesars, we are the Son of God. We are the light of the world. I love it when you walk around and you say to one another, Caesar is Lord. I love it when you walk around and you say, Caesar is the Prince of Peace. That's because I am the Prince of Peace. I am the light of the world. And you see, as everybody knows, the way to create peace in the world is by defeating your enemies. That is how the Roman Empire does it. That is how every other empire has done it. When I go and spread my good news, the gospel of Rome, I go and I conquer other lands, and I say, hey, the good news gets even better because I am taking all of your men of age, and they are joining the Roman army. Some of them will die. A very small sacrifice to pay to the Roman Empire. Some of them may work their way up in the military. Some of them may become generals. Some of them may even become advisors to the Caesar. Some of them may return to their lands. But in all of this, we know that the way to peace in our world is by defeating our enemies. Now, some of you may have heard of them. They have come into Rome, and I am seeking to squelch their voice because they say that this man from Nazareth is the real son of God. This man from Nazareth, they say, is the Prince of Peace. These are my 
propaganda slogans. Not theirs. And yet they take it from me. I am the one who spreads the real good news, but they talk about good news in a different way. You see, the one that they call the Son of God says that the world is not made better through power and conquest. They say that the world is not made better by defeating your enemies. Rather, this Jesus of Nazareth says that the world is made better by loving your enemies, by giving of yourself to them. He says that he did not come to be served, but to serve. I am so glad that you are my servants and that you serve me. But he is trying to flip everything around. Love your enemies, forgive those who betray you. No, that's not how to make the world a better place, is it? It's so radically different than what I have given my life to. It's so contrary to everything that I stand for and live by. It's different than what Rome has always done. And I tell you this. If I'm honest with you, there are times when I think maybe it's just so radical that he could be right. They celebrate a different Advent. An Advent of waiting for a baby to be born. That's where they find the Prince of Peace in a vulnerable child. I've always thought the Prince of Peace was in power, not vulnerability. But sometimes, When I lie awake at night, wondering if somebody's going to come and stab me in the back, I wonder if maybe he's right. Maybe self-giving love is the way to true peace. Maybe forgiveness is the way to true peace. But my advisors tell me that I have responsibilities. I cannot think this way. I have to live by conquest. That's how you spread peace, they tell me. But in the back of my mind, I have my doubts. For Advent always gives us a choice. The way of Caesar or the way of Christ. May you choose wisely. Hi, everyone. This is Adam Erickson reminding you that no matter who you are or where you are on life's journey, you are welcome at Clackamas United Church of Christ. We are located at 15303 Southeast Webster Road in Milwaukee, Oregon. Our worship service starts at 1030 on Sundays, except for during the summer months we start at 10 o'clock. If you'd like more information on our church, you can visit our Facebook page, or our website at c-ucc.org. You can also reach out to me through email at adam at c-ucc.org. Until next time, grace and peace be with you.